Τώρα, αν δεν σπίρει ακόμα να λάβει, σαν έχει κλώσο. Greek. Crete, be excited actually. Last time we could have inroads, we took we took over the Egyptian cities of Memphis, Thebes, and Zagara and built a sanctuary of Festus and another private military outpost at Nassos. Now we shall continue back to Mekene. Alright, let's go. Our spies have returned from their harrowing reconnaissance mission to the Atlantean city, Cleitos, and they have some truly frightening news. They report that those dastardly Atlanteans have built an enormous weapon. This weapon is capable of causing widespread damage, and it doesn't even have to be anywhere near its intended target. After our string of triumphant victories, they must be too frightened to meet us in honorable combat. Other than its effects, our spies were unable to uncover anything else about the weapon, or how it works. Fortunately, the gods are with us, and they have provided us with the information our spies could not. Hephaestus, the master craftsman, has devised a way to sabotage the weapon. Only a crafty hero will be able to slip past the fortress at Lyxis, penetrate the defenses of Cleitos, and get near the weapon without notice. The quicker this weapon is neutralized, the easier it will be for us to defeat Atlantis once and for all. While we work on sabotaging this weapon of doom, our allies are valiantly battling Atlantean aggression. Like any war effort, though, supplies are consumed at a rapid rate, and the demand for more is always high. We need to rally to our allies' aid by providing them with the goods that they need to continue this glorious war against Atlantis. Other cities still under Atlantean rule have been secretly sending us gifts in the hopes that we will free them, and many of our new allies have been sending us gifts in gratitude for our help. Alright, so let's see. Clear this project. For the offering, cost 24 sheets a week for a Let's go. And let's make a save. Delete all these ones. Five. See, I have a pretty substantial military right now. Let's see. We have a lot of armor. Okay. You know, we're just gonna. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take over so you don't tire and weaken Carthage, so we'll have an easier time in the next episode because, like I said, they come in sets. We just completed the Egyptian set. And they're somehow our allies instead of uh, vassals. So now we're gonna complete this set. So you don't tire and Carthage. Take them over and weaken them. So we go to Sidon with our army. In the meantime, we shall continue construction projects in Cleatus. Keep sells wheat. So we should probably make a trading post to this, this city. Let's see, we're gonna block it down. Start selling a few sculptures to them, I believe. No more stockpiling wheat. Things are looking good. Let's look at all the one more workers. Keep in mind your allies will likely need your help as well, so your army might be a good idea to keep it on standby in case it's needed. That's good. How much wine do we have? That's wine. We lost a lot of money building Nossos, so it's highly important we make some back right now. So I'll go to Sidon. Which will give us more wheat. Excellent. I'm quite fond of this city actually. One of my better cities if I do say so myself. But it's going to take complete, there's still a little bit of stuff we need to take care of. We can go sit on. I think some snow just fell off the roof outside. Okay, let's make a save here. Do we take any kind of losses? Not really, not big ones anyways. 
Okay, Sidon is under our control once more. Next up, Tyre and is on the chopping block. Olive oil, we have a lot of olive oil. So let's send them some olive oil. Make them a little bit happier with us. Let's see, pen heavy games. Yo, so these wise philosophers have a good chance of winning the games. Don't change a thing. Okay, we need we need some popularity with the world. Because we could uh the quest will present itself probably a year after you return to my grenade, if I recall correctly, or I've done my research correctly. However, uh, what's more from here? We have a lot of marble, we can probably stop spying marble, right? Yeah, we have enough marble resources. But, anyways, you could go directly to building secret outposts somewhere in the region of Mediterranean in the next colony mission. However, it's not advised because I've already, it's a very small space you have to work with, and these are a lot of shields Carthage has. So, it's important to weaken these cities first. So you have an easier time in the next time, uh, in the next result. So you better take weaken them or take them over as much as possible in the meantime while you're waiting for the quest to pop up. Also continue construction of this sanctuary because Zeus is gonna be hyper, very Zeus is gonna be very, very important. Traders love city. cities where Hermes is in residence. Uh, because Poseidon will meddle in the future like he has already and you need your trading by s trade by sea and also your fishing industries not to be crippled by Poseidon. So Zeus will keep Poseidon at bay and also Atlas at bay who will cause trouble on his own as well. Looks good. If only they had been invited to a market roughly, or a feast of power for Dynamics. I have come down! Yeah, we're just gonna conquer these cities now and Syracuse and Terra are far too fortified for us to attack. I think it's not even possible to conquer them. Even if you were to knock out all their shields, they're scripted in a way that you cannot conquer them. I think I've tried that in the past. Much to my dismay, I haven't been, I had any, didn't have any luck. No, excuse me. Let's give it more fuel truck ones. Where's our pier to tire? Let's tell Skira. Here it is. We should probably limit the amount of sculptures. Have you ever to... seen more solid buildings? Archimedes would be proud. Probably limit the amount of sculptures we sell because we're gonna need them ourselves in a moment when we start kind of continue construction of uh, Zeus's sanctuary. We have a lot of armor, however, which is good. We're gonna need some, uh, we can sell it and also make good use of it. To equip our soldiers with more of this soldier. In the meantime, Egypt is recovering its shields and our allies are also doing very well. Norse was a powerhouse. Then we cover this. Let's see. Probably Sparta will be, and it will go along with us on our trip to Carthage. We should probably re-equip our army before heading to Carthage, just so we have that much more firepower. Do it with 
I'm gonna save here. Probably stop selling fleas. We are gonna need more of ourselves, so we don't exhaust our flea supplies because we are running kind of low on fleas. Let's cancel one of these. We're cutting shit down instead. We're gonna need more please. Keep an eye on your supply levels because you don't you can sell stuff to make a lot of money, but you don't wanna overexpend your supplies because uh, if we run out of fleets at this point it could be game over. Because it'll trust it's really uh, nasty if you run out of fleets because your city will degrade, you lose your elite housing blocks, everything goes down the drain. And you don't have a spool or room or nor the population to build more cutting sheds. So be careful. Be vigilant, be careful. I suppose we should probably stuff pile bronze for a little bit. Greetings, mortal. Only you have the metal to complete my quest. The Violet Lanyards are a prairie weapon that will cause wiser to carnage. Spread your foes from using this tool of doom. Find the I have a will whisper instructions for this strange weapon in the hero's ear. Find the resources for. Well. So, this is all this here. We shall pop it down right here. And everything is in position so we can call it here. Send for this is. The Air Force just, just, was just discovered. Traders love cities where Hermes is in residence. More snow fell off the roof. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but... Come on, we need more runs, quickly. Actually make the world-renowned Odysseus, King of the Thicka, is here! Ah, oh, we're overdue, but dispatch the goods. Okay, how's our army looking? Pretty solid. Let's save here. Carthage. Of the Sparta to calm them down so they don't rebel against us. So, please, 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 it's picking up again. Because you did not send the seven bars of bronze to, to my city in time, I cheer on my plan to get regarded as highly as I did before. Thank you. 
we need to stop selling sculptures for a little bit. Stop pile of wine again. gives us fleas, that would be very well, very well, good indeed. Very well, good. What am I? Learning to speak English for the first time? Come on now, video crew, you're up, you're up, Come on, go the gifts to Sparta, please, quickly. So they don't rebel against us. Well, they're not happy with us, that's for sure. Let's hope we can make them think times again. We don't have anything else in this. Armor to Athens. Okay, Carthage we took a little big loss there, now we need to re-equip our military and go for Carthage again. They have a lot of shields. Imagine doing that with a small military, chipping away at them all the time. Yeah. Now we need to, uh, fortunately we have a lot of armor, wine and all that other supplies, so we can quickly restock our elite houses. Horsemen might not be that quick. But Okay, Sparta thinks high layers again. Good. I think I had it glitched once where I was where I actually made a hero broken, so I couldn't complete the episode because the hero didn't pop up in my city. I'm not as we could have a really bad video crawl because the leave is a bad taste in my mouth. I don't have courage, I'm actually angry with you. There's nothing. What am I do? Yeah, I glitched it like I think it was one of those Sparta colony missions and the hero just became glitched and didn't appear anywhere. No matter what I did. I had to restart the yeah. We start the, the whole episode because it you know, didn't appear again. Housing for that many more people. I guess there was a small development of houses up here that for some reason or another. Traders love cities where Hermes is in residence.
Hmm. Can be paid. Okay, let's make a little save. And send everything we have against Carthage again. They should do the trick. Off our army goes to crush Carthage and her boot. Hopefully. I hope it's not scripted so we can't take it over yet. It shouldn't be, I don't recall any of that, or something like that, but it hopefully is not the case. That's not the case. Because my uh, because I uh, lost a lot of workers in these cup and the copper production facilities, the foundries ran low on workers, so they slowed down production. <laughs> Probably take over Carthage. They will likely rebel at the start of the next episode, like they usually do. If you like, they would have done if we had any of the Egyptians conquered this at that point. Just humming along with the background sound. It's very tranquil, relaxing. I haven't seen Poseidon in this episode yet. I wonder where he is. Chilling on the beach or something. Good coverage. Just give him a little bit of armor. Can you see my spear? How can I be a spear carrier? I wonder will the attacking force still appear even though we conquered them? Will they turn around? Any monuments available, by the way. Yeah, they disappeared. Everyone back to your homes. I think you see here. Poor silver. Feeling so neglected that we can't mine it. Get our engineers on the case. Build a ladder or something from these so they can carry the silver up and down the ladder. So we're going to turn. Excellent. Let's save here. Now this episode is a well-earned rest between cases, because I fear in the future things will not be so light. Now let me take the time to look at and tell you this. In the next episode, Terra and Syracuse will relentlessly start pursuing your allies, so you will have a lot of trouble dealing with them, defend, trying to defend all your allies to keep them, while simultaneously launching your attacks on the Phoenician cities of Syria and Tyre and Carthage. Provided they don't do anything, they, they, that they don't glitch out and don't rebel or something. Also, in the next, Poseidon will in the future invade once every year, so you really want Zeus's sanctuary up and running. You really want it up and running fast. Okay, we'll send these guys to me. If you attack Syracuse. Mm. 
can discover more about a person in an hour of play than in a These are terminal times ago. Almost half of Tiro is attacking me. You are a hippo and the city of Terra is secure. I need help to turn back these foes. Please send me two for four months to help us carry the day. Okay, we're going to play games. Let's set aside the sheaves of wheat. Make a save here. And send Odysseus off on his little quest. This should be a nice and short episode compared to the hour and 20 minutes long. Traders behemoth. love cities where Hermes is in residence. Hour and a half long behemoth that I did in the last episode. I should try and really not try not to make that long episodes in the future. Well, I suppose we'll have to complete Zeus' sanctuary in the future. I mean, we only need 18 more sculptures. And, hmm. We'll put that on the swimming places. Probably shouldn't have sold so many sculptures in the past, I get the feeling. Ah oh, well. We have plenty of time to make out boss time. If nothing else, I'll shut down the armor industry for a bit so that the sculpture steels get more bronze. But the sign that all this attacking is happening means we're overstayed our welcome and we should move on to the next episode in the adventure. We did everything we, I set out to do. Well, I suppose we could have constructed Zeus's sanctuary, but regardless, we got carpets sit on an entire and knocked down the military is a huge bunch, so that should help us in the future a lot. Well, that was a mouthful. Spot up extra wood, send them some wood. Hmm. Anyway. Odysseus on his way back to the city. He sure, to, he sure crossed, crossed the, the Mediterranean Sea fast on that little raft of his. Does he even eat or drink during that time? Seawater? I don't think so. Well, champ, let me tell you about this secret weapon thing. Odysseus began. It was easy enough to penetrate the defenses that the Atlanteans had surrounding it. Those Atlanteans always have their head in some book, and they were so intent on their scholarly studies that they didn't even notice me. So there it was, all shiny and red and with lots of buttons. Since no one was paying any attention to me, I spun some dials and pressed a few of the buttons. Next thing I know, the earth starts shaking. Of course, this gets the attention of all the book-loving scientists, and they start coming after me. Without wasting another minute, I poured about a dozen hives worth of honey right into the weapon. By this time, the scientists were on top of me. Of course, scientists don't fight nearly as well as heroes do, and I was able to single-handedly vanquish them all. There must have been a hundred of them! Anyway, Sluggo, you ought to get out there in the Mediterranean and attack while the attacking is good. Though I wasn't able to destroy the thing completely, I at least gummed up the works for a little while. Since Atlantis is crawling with scientists, it won't be long until one of those little fellows figures out how to fix that big red shiny thing. I love that part. <laughs> the accent. The voice actors are really on par with this story. I think it's one guy actually who does all the voices. I should look that up in the credits or something. Anyway, we complete the Kratos project. We sabotage the secret weapon, courtesy of Odysseus and Honey. And we set more sheaves of wheat for the colony and did some preliminary work to make our life in the future easier. Anyway, see you guys next time we can do two worlds collide. This is a bit of crow signing out.